Hi everyone, this is Steve, Mr. Janoni One. How are you guys doing today? I hope you like my new look, little mustache going on here. I really wish I have a goatee, but I didn't even grow facial hair right here. Anyway, um, so this is a new look, and let me know how you like this new look. So today's video is going to be an unboxing video. Yay! Another unboxing, and this time we're going to do a the designer that I have not purchased for over 10 years, and that is Chanel. And let's get started, and let me show you what I got for you. I bought this Chanel bag, actually a wallet, when I was in Neiman Marcus, Willow Bend, a uh, couple last month. And um, I wasn't going to buy this because I have my heart set on the wallet on chain. In fact, I went to Hawaii as a couple different style, but it just seems a little too small for me. And the purpose of me buying this new wallet is to hold my two phones. Seriously, I walk around with iPhone 6 Plus and iPhone 5, one for work, one for personal. And it's really hard to carry two phones, and sometimes I don't want to carry a huge bag, I just want something small to hold on to it. So I found this bag, and I think it's perfect. And uh, so started this, I want to show you, I bought this at Neiman Markets. And I bought a lot of designer bags at like Louis Vuitton and Neiman Markets. And I'm always very happy and very satisfied with them because they give you the total package from the receipt, the handbag, the, the uh, shopping bag, everything is from that particular designer. But when I bought Chanel, that was a totally different story. Although I really enjoy my salesperson. Um, hi, if you're watching. You are such a wonderful lady. I mean, you've been helping me for a while now and finally find this bag. So I love your service. But I just don't understand that. When you buy Chanel at Neiman Markets, and this is the shopping bag they give you. I mean, nothing wrong to with a Neiman Market shopping bag with the receipt, but um, I'm really hoping I can get a Chanel shopping bag. But anyway, you know, it is what it is. But uh, let's, let me show you what's in there. Are you ready to see what I got? Yay, I'm so excited. So ta-da, it's a really cute Chanel. It's very small. It's about, you can see the box is about, this is my hand, so it's about three hands. So a small bag. So um, I really love the Chanel box. It's very, very good quality. In fact, that this little flower was not even available when you buy in the boutique at, um, in the Neiman's. So my sales lady actually went upstairs for the Chanel boutique, the clothing line, and she found this for me. She just put it on the box, so I really, really appreciate that. Because how can you buy Chanel not taking away, and not walking away with the Chanel signature flower, right? Wouldn't you agree? Okay, so let's open this now. Oh my goodness. So I haven't bought Chanel for over 10 years. So I don't even know what is a dust bag supposed to look like. But this particular case, it's all in black. It's the black velvet dust bag. And it's actually kind of stretchy a little bit. So let me show you. So this is the box, the bag. It's really pretty. And in here, there's a two Chanel tag. Um, just like basically tells you the material, how they make with the little information. Okay, so what you've been waiting for is this bag here. Wallet, I'm sorry, I keep on saying bag. Okay, so when you open it, um, it's really pretty though. It's just a really black velvet mm, dust bag. And so I'm gonna pull out a wallet now. This is actually the Chanel Travel Wallet. And I'm gonna explain to you what does that mean, okay? So uh, first thing first, let me just remove the protect, protect, uh, protector shield, okay, for the hardware. So if you look at this back here, it's about eight and, eight and, eight and a half inch um, um, with its eight and a half. It's about four inch, four and a half right here. I would say about one inch and a half around this area here. So you can see the material is the signature material, the classic. It's a caviar letter. And I like caviar better than landscape. It's land, land skin is because it's a little bit more durable. And if I want to walk around this a lot, I want this to be last longer. And I don't want to get a Chanel by not able to use all the time. You know what I mean. And the hardware is silver, which I'm very, very happy. Um, I think gold is just a little too girly. I know you're thinking I'm calling it Chanel. How 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 girly is that? But but the gold make it worse actually. Okay, so why are they saying this is the travel wallet? Oh my God, this is so cool here. So when you open here, it has a Chanel logo right here. It has a three additional pieces in here, and let me show you what they are. Okay, so the first one is the six four credit card holder, and as you can see it. And um, you can put money or credit cards in here. This is insert, additional insert. And um, you also have this um, 
two critical holder with a zipper on top and let me show you what the zipper look like okay so when you open a zipper oh there is the information of the chanel wallet and uh, this is the price tag okay and i think for chanel this is actually a pretty good deal for this price you usually can get the wallet on chain but wallet on chain doesn't really hold a lot of stuff this hold much more so i'm very very happy and it has the um the cards right here to prove to you this is the real so when you open the, this smaller one here there's actually a chanel logo i'll get closer to show you and i need to be honest with you when i if if this is not in the travel wallet i really think this is just any unknown brand because there's really not much logo on this piece here and the material i know it's a letter because i can smell that but it just seems kind of cheap to me a little bit um, so i'm not too excited about this and it also comes with the passport holder and the good thing about pass holder is actually there's a chanel logo right here so it's mainly italy um and i think that it's all the same material but i just feel like they like, could have done better for this much money we pay for that's my personal opinions and would i be using these three pieces probably not because that take too much space i want to put my phone in there so anyway so this wallet uh comes with these three pieces right here so pretty cool huh so now i'm going to show you the wallet without the three inserts comes with and uh, when you before I open, I just want to show you in the back of here. There's a pocket right here. You can it's um you can put your business card. You can put some cash in there. And I remember that um I heard somewhere that original design for Chanel is because this is really they put the money in there. So when you go on a taxi or something like that, you can put money out quickly. So you don't have to open your wallet. In this day, we'll be pulling on credit cards. <laughs> okay, so when you I'm gonna get close to show you. It's really nice. Um. The, oh, the reason why they call it a caveat letter is because if you look very closely, the, ma the material itself has a little circulation pattern on there, like a caviar basically. So, and um, I have a caviar Chanel bag before. They really last long time. So I recommend that if you're gonna invest your first Chanel, get a caviar letter and it will last longer than landscape. It just basically is what it is. So when you open it, it's really just a little wallet right here. There's nothing in here. It's a little pouch. It's kind of like a big empty pouch right here. It holds six credit cards. And uh, so you can put your most important credit card in there when you go out. And now let me show you when I put my phone in there, how it's gonna look like. Okay, so Mr. Jan only one is walking around with two phones all the time. So this is the iPhone. Um, five yay my picture's in there and uh, this is the six plus the bigger one right here so you can see that i really need something to carry this all the time so i'm gonna put two phones here together so watch this i was so excited when i see this so two phones actually fits in here really nice it's a little, little bit slightly tight so that's why i can put anything else but two phone and uh, you actually snap like that so the phone fits in here and I can put some credit card. I can put some cash in the back here if I have to. The wallet itself is a little stretchy. So, you know, so you can expand a little bit bigger. I would say that, but overall still very nice. Um, hold up the phone right here. Yeah, I know sometimes you feel that like, what well, it's kind of hassled, hassle to carry like on your hand, but, um, yeah, I would love to have this on the chain, but, I mean they don't make that so so I'm, I'm okay with this I'm very happy the price is right it's not ridiculous crazy but you know standard for Chanel right if you look at the buckle right here this also have a Chanel imprints right here so it's very nice and um, on the top is Chanel with the double um, double C logo so this is what I got yeah I can't wait to use this when I go to work next week and because I'll be in New York so it's kind of easier to just carry around with this rather than a big old bag here so this is the Chanel travel wallet and I think it's going to be perfect for what I'm going to use day in day out here. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Mr. Jeremy One on the Chanel travel wallet unboxing video and um, like I say I'm very happy it's been a 10 year I bought Chanel so and 
let me tell you, Chanel, seriously, they have price increase every year. So if I don't bought this five years ago, this will even be more expensive than, than before. So I feel like it's a good investment. I always joke around this that when you buy a high-end designer, it really is a good investment because they increase their price and the second-hand goods actually cost the same price when you first purchase. So to me, that's good investment. And that's a story I'm gonna stick to it. And don't forget to share my video on your social media, such as right here. Facebook, Instagram, Tumblr, um, anything you can know for the social media. I really appreciate that. And most important thing, don't forget to visit my beauty blog at www.mrjohnallinone.com. And I will see you next week. Bye-bye.